Hi, Martin here with another video. And today I'm gonna to be talking all about hot corners on Mac. So let's get started. Now, you're probably wondering what on earth are hot corners? So you'd probably be aware of Mac OS and it being filled with features that are essentially designed to help workflow and speed up your processes. Um, and you'll also be familiar with things like keyboard shortcuts. Well. Hot corners allow you to assign shortcuts to each corner of your screen. So using your mouse, you can move your cursor to any of the four corners of the screen to run several system actions, hide your open windows, lock your screen, show your notifications, put your computer to sleep and more. So if you wanna to start to use these hot corner shortcuts on Mac OS, then you first need to go to system settings and then head to desktop and screensaver. Once in here, head to the screensaver page, okay, and then click on hot corners here in the bottom right. So from here, you can see that we've got a screen and we have, by default, we have quick notes down in the bottom right hand corner. So each box that you see coincides with one of the four corners of the screen. So we've got top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left. So to add an action to a corner, simply click the box for that corner and then select the action from the list. Now we have a number of different options. So we have start screensaver, which is fairly self-explanatory, disable screensaver, mission control, which gives a bird's eye view of all your open windows, Application windows, shows you all the open windows of one specific app. Desktop, so hide all your open windows so you can see the desktop. Notification center, shows your notification center, which includes your widgets, etc. Launchpad, view all of your applications in Launchpad. And then we have Quick Notes, which allow you to open up the notebook and create some quick notes. Put your display to sleep, which will obviously put it to sleep, and lock screen, which will lock your screen. So you can go ahead and select uh, a number of these different options. So if I go to uh, mission control here, and then over here, I could go to um, launch pad. And then what you can also do is if you don't want to have, so you may ne not necessarily want all four corners, then you can simply leave it as a dash and that hot corner will not have anything assigned to it. So if we go ahead and press okay, I should be able to go over now and I can see the different things. So I go over here and you can see I've now got this um, overview here. I can go down here and you can see my quick notes here. I go over here and again, that activates that extra desktop. Now, one thing that you may find with having hot corners activated is that sometimes, so say oh, I just wanna go off and check the date, I've accidentally activated my hot corner. Okay, I'm just gonna check my Apple. I've activated my launch pad over here. So what we wanna do, or one feature that hot corners actually has is um, being able to use modifier keys. So if we go ahead and select hot corners again, and we can go into our menu here. So I've got my uh, mission control set up here. And to enable the modifier keys, simply hold down the key that you want to use whilst selecting a hot key action, okay? So say I wanna do mission control, well I'm gonna hold the option key and then select mission control. So you can see it's changed to my option key symbol and mission control. So if I press okay, you can see if I go to that corner, nothing happens. If I hold option and go over, then my hot key is activated. So it's a great way of being able to use the hot corners without activating them by accident. So there you have it, a quick rundown of um, hot corners in Mac OS. It's a feature not a huge amount of people know about, but it can actually kind of uh, speed up processes by adding these shortcuts in. So if this video has been useful, please give it a like, comment below and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.